Hi, Ami. Hey, it's good to Thank see you. Thank you so much for joining me today uh, for this first week of Women's History Month. And I wanted to chat with you a little bit about the work um, because I find it so inspiring what you've done at Longfellow Farm, uh, which is an urban farm located in the Longfellow neighborhood. You started in 2015. I know it's a really um, more of a community-based farm instead of a community garden where people have beds that they just come and maintain and leave. Your farm sounds more holistic and more community-based where everyone's working together. I love that you have support uh, education about cooking and the different type of vegetables that are grown there. And I also uh, find it really inspirational, the work that you do as the Metro Farms and Food Systems Program Manager with Cultivate KC. So again, thanks for joining me for this real quick interview. But I wanted to ask you, what drew you to urban farming? And maybe you could explain to everybody a little bit about what that is. Yeah, so I was, I think, drawn to urban agriculture because I grew up in a garden. My mom always had a big vegetable garden. We ate from the garden. It just has always felt like home and having a place to have my hands in the earth, in the soil, um, just makes me feel more grounded. And I think it's such a powerful way to connect with other people. And so, so urban farming, urban agriculture in general is anytime you're growing food in the city, it could be a community garden, it could be a home garden, it could be a, a farm business. Um, urban farming, we kind of define as anybody who's growing food, not just for themselves and their family, but to share, whether it's running a business, whether it's kind of the community farming model that we do at Longfellow, where neighbors come out, work together, and rather than having the individual plots, all that food is shared among the people um, that come out, as well as we sell a, a few community supported agriculture shares to our neighbors. Um, and that helps keep the project running through, you know, paying our water bill, buying our seeds and supplies. So, so that's why we fit more into the farming category than, than a community garden. But yeah, urban farming is just a great way for, for neighbors to come out, to, to spend time really working together, sharing that space. And then also the most fun part is that exchange of recipes and like, hey, I tried the turnips this week. What did you do with them? So that's one of the things I really love about it. Thanks. So there's a lot of exciting changes happening in Kansas City right now. Uh, what excites you the most about environmental work that you see happening around you? Environmental work, it's such a big, yeah. big area. So I think one thing that really excites me is I've been working on such a micro like neighborhood based level and seeing more and more kind of neighborhoods and communities take on projects and take ownership of the, the area, the environment around them. So seeing, um, seeing people come together around a community compost bin or doing litter cleanups specifically for their community. I think anytime you're getting people, especially people who share space with each other, um, working together to improve their environment. That, that's what excites me. Right. What advice do you have for women that might be looking for a career in urban farming, urban agriculture, or, or even looking to get more um, involved in their own community? I think advice would just be like get out there and volunteer start start doing something start talking to people who are in the field um i got started in this work i was a student at grinnell college in iowa and i was looking to spend the summer in kansas city and i found cultivate kansas city um, a nonprofit doing what i what seemed to be really interesting work and um, approached them to see if i could do an internship so i spent the summer of 2008 um, out in the field at the Juniper Gardens training farm and the Gibbs Road farm at the time, um, just working as an intern for the organization. And that really opened, opened the door and um, opened up my eyes to the possibilities within this field. So um, when I graduated college, I ended up coming back to Kansas City to work for the organization. So I worked with them for, for a number of years and then um, left for a little while and and now I'm back with the organization but but that's what got my foot in the door it was really it sounded exciting it sounded interesting and I just put myself out there and then since then um getting involved with the 
um, the neighborhood work, again, it was like, here's this green space, the neighborhood owns these lots. Um, let's just start talking to people, start, start doing something. And I, and I did have a lot of relationships through my work with Cultivate that made it um, easier to start taking those steps. But I would say that the farming community, the agriculture community, gardening community is really welcoming of new people, especially women wanting to get involved. So just go get your hands dirty. Thanks, Ami. Where do you find your inspiration? I think I, I touched on this a little bit um, yeah. in the other questions, but it's really, it's for me, the the farming and it's all about one, I like to eat good food. So <laughs> fresh veggies um, that I grew just tastes better to me. Um, and then the, really it's about being, bringing people together. It's the community building aspect of it. Um, and seeing now that we're going into our eighth season growing at Longfellow Farm, um, you know, kids that were babies when we started are now like running around the neighborhood on their own. Um, so just the relationships that that I've been able to build and 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 other people have connected with each other and um, it's just been a really special space for our neighborhood. Thanks, Ami. I really appreciate you talking with me today. Thanks for being inspirational uh, to your community and to the people that follow you. Thanks for giving your community a space to be together and to learn and to grow together. And I hope I can uh, enjoy some turnips and greens with you uh, very soon. I hope so, so too. Thank you very much. And thanks, Sarah. Doing good work, Ami.